So this is uh, Illustrator Basics class that I'm teaching. Uh, my name is Ryan Hayworth and this is lesson 4.3 which we will discuss path editing, cutting, and joining. It'll be a short little lesson um, but I, I've had a need for it because of some things we've discussed in class. I'm teaching a live class during this summer and uh, I know that these issues will come up in other other lessons or other instances of this class so I figured hey I'll just throw it out there and uh, get um, make sure everybody's on board now when I discuss uh, these things that you're you're going to use to cut paths and to edit paths um, keep in mind you can do it you can use any of the path creation tools you can make a shape you can make uh, lines using the line segment, the pen, the pencil, the curvature tool, um, even the brush tool, whichever one that you happen to be working with and you need to make a cut or an edit to a line, uh, uh, so a path that you happen to be working with. So uh, let's get right to it. I'm going to select the pencil tool by hitting N on my keyboard and I need to um, make sure that I can edit this layer. This is a brand new document, so uh, I have the lock uh, function turned off on my layer. So I'm going to just make a nice uh, curving, swooping line. And there you go. As you can tell, I'm using my stylus. Uh, your mouse may or may not get that sort of a line. Um, I'm going to do a second line and I'm going to put it over here and maybe I'll do a third line. No, I don't like that one. Alright, we'll just skip it. We'll just do the two lines. So, in order to cut a line there or break a line, there are a few ways you can go about it. And the first is the easiest and obvious most obvious and that is with the cut tool which looks like a pair of scissors and you don't see them in your toolbar unless you pull open your eraser tool which has um, yours your scissors tool there and you can find it also by hitting the shortcut key, shortcut key of C so how that works is you simply click on a path and this is a time when your sh your smart guides would be helpful so you can tell that you are actually on a path and not accidentally going to hit an anchor point so I'm going to zoom in here and then scroll using the spacebar or pan over to this area and you can see that I'm not right now hovering over a path so all I do with my scissors is just click it and then I can go to a different point. If I happen to click an anchor point, I will get an error. Well, I don't get an error. Hey, good job Adobe. Uh, it used to be you would get an error at that point. It would say click on a path and not an anchor point or uh, you won't be able to cut. So if you click off of an off of a path, you will get an error that says please use the scissors tool on a segment or an anchor point but not the end point of a path okay so it used to be you couldn't click on an anchor point now you just can't click on an end point obviously there was one or you can't click out in the middle of open space so what did that do when I clicked this point here and that point back there will get the direct selection tool which is A and we will click on this segment that I cut off and I can um, hold down actually the selection tool and drag that away. I've made a cut on that line and now I have this other line that I can work with so use that if you need to cut between two points or to cut a segment out of uh, your line that you're working with. Um, there's another way that you could 
that you could use um, the pen tool and I'll show you that um, by actually taking this line and combining it back together. So the pen tool again if I click on two anchor points it creates a line in between there and then I can add an anchor point and then with the direct selection tool as my selector I can hold down P or go back to my pen tool and then go back to command or control and use this to modify that line to be how I would like it. Um, let's move along the line here just a little bit. Let's say I don't want to cut the line but actually I want to just remove a section of it. So I can go to the beginning point of where I want to remove it. Actually, let me, let me do one thing first. Let's get a square and put a square and I want to make it look like well without changing the fill so I can change the fill of that square to make it look like it's in front of that line but what if I don't want that line to actually be behind there so if I go to if I hit Y I'll see outline mode excuse me control Y or command Y I'll go to outline mode and you will see that the line still exists behind that square but I don't want that I want to have my uh, line to break at the at the edge of the square and pick up again on the other side. Well, one way you can do that is with uh, the scissors tool, like I just showed you um, in that other segment. So I'll click here, and then I'll click over here, and delete. Well, wait a minute. I've done something wrong because I clicked the square instead of the line. So undo that. And there's a better way. Make sure that you're in isolation mode. So double click the line and now you can see that that we're there where the line is. So C to get the cut tool. Click on it. Whoops, I missed. Click on it click on it and then select and delete so that's one option I'll undo that but remain in, so in isolation mode you can choose the pen tool and remember a pen tool the pen tool will add an anchor point so if you don't want to go if you're if you're still drawing with the pen tool um, and you don't want to go to the cut tool and then have to move your finger all the way back over there I mean it's another step and you just want to cut the line well just add a third point in there and then hit delete and delete that point and it will take that point and any line segment that is going to that point and you see that it did exactly the same thing that the cut tool did so there's that second option so let's go back to full screen or uh, fit the window in the art or the artboard in the window exit isolation mode and what else can we do well if you go back to the cut tool which is here on that or the scissors tool on that same flyout is what's called the knife now the knife let me go back to my layer the knife doesn't have a shortcut key so you have to remember to go over and choose it on the keyboard or on the, the toolbar. All right, with the knife tool, how that works, what you're going to do is select, or you don't have anything selected, you can even just drag around your artwork. It will only cut your objects, so shapes. Anything that is filled uh, either with a fill or has no fill, but it has to be a a uh, shape an object and you'll see that it'll cut that so let me get my uh, direct selection tool and I can drag that section away if I try to uh, to slice to cut a line well it did absolutely nothing so again let me uh, make some more shapes my favorite the star tool 
and then deselect everything. So now I have all of these shapes and I can drag through the shapes and make an interesting cut. And now it has cut all of those shapes into separate little shapes and you can pull those apart. Come here. So again, that's with the the uh, the knife tool. If, however, you have a shape and you have it selected before you go to the knife tool and you cut through a whole bunch of things, it's only going to cut that one that one shape that you had selected. Okay. So let's get rid of all of those weird things. And I will delete those. Now, again with the lines. Um, let's say I want to take my pen tool and click here and have a nice swooping shape that kind of attaches to that. But then I want to cut off this end and have it just combine there. Well one thing I can do and let's go to the direct selection tool because I know I'm going to need to move things move anchor points so then with my pen tool and I will just hold down control or command and bring that over so it's in line there and I want this one over here right about there so now that's exactly where I want it. I'm going to zoom in real close and you can see that I have this, these two lines. They're almost touching but not quite. So I'm going to get the C for the scissors tool and as I'm so close it doesn't give me, well it doesn't show me the scissors anyway. It, the icon is more precise. So I'm going to click this right here which is the smart guide telling me where the intersection between this anchor point and this line is on a vertical uh, axis and so then I can click and I'll click this path here let's go back out and I'll delete that and now I can come back in and with my direct selection tool and I want the direct selection tool because I'm selecting anchors and A is for anchor, right? So I will select just these two anchor points on the very end. And then there's a command that you can use and it's called Control J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. And it will, it will join those two. And the closer they are, the more likely it is going to look like a single point. So that was pretty close. Let's undo that. Let's take the bottom one here and we'll just slide it right up there until it it sinks or it, it's in the same place. And then I'll click I'll select them again. So select both of those and it looks like one anchor point again. And then hit Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC, and there it is. That's a nice point. It comes to a nice uh, a nice point from the both of those anchors and let's zoom back out and now I've made a, a cool shape like uh, I think I want instead of the curly that I had on the end there okay so that is command J on a Mac control J on a PC and that will join your two lines and if you need to find that Oops, I don't have anything selected. So if you need to find that, it's up in the object, down to path, and it's join right there. Okay, so Command J, Control J. Um, that's one of the things that you can do with your with your path. And again, that was just a short 
uh, thing that we had come up in class and I felt that it was necessary. Um, one, where, one place you may find you need it is if you are creating a shape. So for example, you have the pen tool or the pencil tool rather, that's what I wanted, N for pencil. Uh, and I have my big blob of a shape and I come back and I'm pretty close to where I needed to end but I made a mistake and I've gone the wrong direction there so now I can hold down I can click my direct selection to get rid of that last anchor and then I can click on these two anchor points right here at the very end command J and it'll make a straight line in between. So I don't have to rely on my own ability to click one and then go to the next or make a straight line. All I need to do is select the two and let the computer, let the software make that that connection. Okay, next we'll talk about clipping masks, so stick around.